Miss Strasser had a litter of, and I don't know how often she... Three litters a year, Your Honor. So you are a registered breeder of pug puppies? I am with the AKC, yes. AKC. My litters are. And you wanted a pug puppy. You purchased a pug puppy f from her on what date? March 12, 2016. You have a contract? Um, no. Do you have a written contract? No. Did you have a contract? No. I Other give than twice. I give written instructions on how to follow up with medical care and okay. what they had. But there was no contract? No. Okay, how much was the puppy? $1,250. Is this the first time you've had a dog? Since I was a child, yes. So this is the first time you've really yes. had, a, had a dog. How old was the puppy when you brought the puppy home? Ten weeks. Puppy had had its first shot? Yes, he had. When was the next time you took the puppy to the vet? Um, I believe it was on March 18th. And that was a wellness check. That's yes. a smart thing to do. Right. And the vet found everything in order. Right. What's next? Um, five months later, I emailed... Don't tell me what you emailed. Five months later, you took the dog to the vet. Well, first I emailed Miss Strasser. About what? I wanted a female pug. Toby my, was a male. Why did you want a female? Um, he needed a friend. And mm -hmm. I considered breeding. I, I didn't really want to breed it myself. I emailed her later and asked her if she would be willing to breed Toby and give me a female pug. Because I paid a lot of money for Toby and I didn't really want to pay that much again. So, like as a stud fee, use Toby as a stud in, in payment f for my stud fee, give me a puppy. And she said? She didn't answer me. Okay, so what's next? Um, then Toby ate a Reese's peanut butter cup and I was worried. Wait just a second. He ate chocolate? Yes. And you were concerned, so you took him to the vet? Yes. I Did took you, him is to that the vet. same vet that you took him to on March 18th? Yes. Same vet? Yes. And they kept him overnight for observation. Because somebody had given him, let he, him eat. He got on, I had a candy bowl on the table, and he got on the table. Okay. Um, so they kept him overnight, and? And I picked him up, and they said, you know, he is cryptorchid. And I said, I don't know what that is. So they informed me that one of his testicles was... I'm letting you tell me this story, even though it's hearsay, because I assume someplace it's in the medical record. Yes. So they said to you that he has one testicle, or he has one testicle that had not come down yet? One that had not come down Come yet. down yet. I know. I've had lots of dogs. So? So they said I would have to have him neutered. I could not breed him. Well, they said to you it's a wise idea because those things can become infected and the dog should have been neutered from the beginning. You should have had the dog neutered five months before. Well, he was only 10 weeks old five months before. When you got him, he was 10 weeks old. Yes. At what age can you have a puppy neutered? They say at four to five months. Okay, so you were a little late in the neutering process for him anyway. Well, I, I wanted to breed him. Well, that's ridiculous. This is the first time you've had a dog since you were a child. All of a sudden you want to become a dog breeder? No, I didn't want to be a dog breeder. Okay. I wanted to, to breed the dog so I could get a female dog. For what? Ms. Strasser told just me that... For what? Ms. Strasser, for what I did asked you want Strasser, a female? Just a second, for what? I'm just trying to figure out. For what did you want a female dog? If you wanted company, you could get another male dog. Ms. Strasser, in our emails back and forth, she said, girl pugs get along better with boy pugs. I didn't know what I wanted. I said, I want another pug. Okay. In any event, this is what your case is about. You think that she should give you back half your money or all your money or more than all your money. You pay twelve fifty. You're suing for $1,625 because you say, in addition to anything else, you want a partial refund for the dog and plus punitive damages for filing a false restraining order against you. Correct. So now... You take the puppy to the vet, and you have the puppy neutered, right? And at this time, it's surgery, a little bit older. Puppy is about eight months old now. It's September 16th, so... About eight months. Puppy was 10 weeks old. This is five months later, so it's about eight months old. You have the puppy neutered, and... So, I... And you called her and said, I want part of my money back. Yes. Okay, and she said, I'm not giving you your money back. She, she texted me and she said... She said, I'm not giving you your money back. She texted me and said she would give me my money back. Oh, she would? Yes. And then she didn't. She would give me half my money back, and then to, she said to bring the dog back to her. Just a second. She said, let me see the text. Do you have the texts? Yes, I do. I'd like to see both your versions. I offered her a full refund. She refused four times. <laughs> a full refund if she brought the puppy yes, back? Yes, full refund, and then I all, uh, Just a second. A full just, refund and bring the puppy back? Bring the puppy back. Right. And because I'd she like, claimed just, that she just, wanted a breeder. Just a second. So. I just want to see... Your email where you offered her a full refund and said, I'll bring the puppy back. Bird, I'm going to take a look at hers while you're waiting there, please. Thank you. Why did you contact the Attorney General? The AKC website, I called them and they recommended that I file a That's complaint. That's ridiculous. I they wouldn't do that. There's no yeah. way.